Let's do a couple problems that involve the Pythagorean theorem. First of all, the Pythagorean theorem is for right triangles. So if this triangle ABC, labeled this way, where I use capital letters for the vertices of the triangle, and then um, lowercase letters for the sides of the triangle, so side A is opposite angle A, side C is opposite angle C, and side B is opposite angle B, then this is a right triangle. That's what that stands for. ABC is a right triangle if and only if C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So if this is a right triangle, then the square of the longest side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. And if you find a triangle in which this is true, the triangle must be a right triangle. So you can't have one of these without the other. If it's a right triangle, this is true. If this is true, it must be a right triangle. So if I look down here and I say, well, this is a right triangle, and one side's 5, this side is 12, and the longest side is x, we can find x by using the Pythagorean theorem. It says that the longest side, which we call the hypotenuse squared, is the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So by the Pythagorean theorem, x squared must be equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared. Okay, so x squared is equal to 25 plus 144. I add those up, I get 169. That's x squared. And so x, I know that 169 has two square roots, positive 13 and negative 13. But since x is the length of a side in this triangle right here, I know it's going to be the positive 13. So that must be 13. And let's see, did that go off the screen? Nope, we're OK. So I solved that triangle that way pretty directly just using the Pythagorean theorem. Now how about this triangle right here? If this is a right triangle, then I have this side is x, this side is 6, and the longest side, the hypotenuse, is 10. Well, I'm going to set it up the same way. I'm going to say the longest side squared, 10 squared, is the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So x squared plus 6 squared. So I get 100 is equal to x squared plus 36. I subtract 36 from both sides. I get 64 is equal to x squared. And I know that 64 has two square roots, again, positive 8 and negative 8. But since x represents the length of this side right here, I know it must be a positive number. So that's going to come out to be 8. So x is equal to 8 in that case. So pretty much all right triangle problems come down to one of these two types right here. Either you're trying to find the hypotenuse and you're given the other two sides, or you're trying to find one of the sides and you're given the other side and the hypotenuse. So if you can solve this one and this one, you've pretty much taken care of all the different kinds of triangles you're going to end up solving using the Pythagorean theorem.